I'm feeling super excited. This is a dream come true in a way. Like, yes. how many of us thought that we'd want to fly a jet? Yeah. <laughs> The reason why we put pilots into a jet aircraft is because we need to give them the experience. When you're flying at high speeds, it's creating a huge amount of G on the body. They create constraints on your thinking process and put a lot of pressure on your ability to fly the aircraft. That translates to the airspeeder because we're gonna be racing these vehicles. I do understand what they say now when they say I'm blacking out because literally I had my eyes open and everything was going black. But it was so exciting. It's so much different and I have brand new respect to everyone who does this. On the fighter jet you have like snaps of aggressive G-forces whenever you're cornering. Everything is like up and down. It's so different from whatever I've experienced in race cars before. Wow, that is crazy addictive. Just that feeling of weight and like everything's moving around like crazy and, and then the negative like feeling weightlessness that's just incredible what a machine it goes so fast i'm just blown away we've got to make them faster oh, yeah the speed has got to go faster <laughs> So this is happening and we're going to be flying one of the helicopters. Exciting. The flight characteristics of a helicopter versus a plane are different. When we put our pilots into an airspeeder, because it's going to be a powered lift rotorcraft, it's going to be unlike anything that exists today. So we need to give our pilots this exposure to different types of flight characteristics. They then have the opportunity to actually get real feedback from the aircraft with regards to the way it performs and handles. It's really delicate to control. It's like landing the clutch in your new car. You need to find the sweet spot to actually get it to move as you wish most for it to move. It was actually doing what I wanted. Amazing. Put a lot going on. The secondary effects of making one input, say you're raising the power on the collective and that'll make the thing swing around and so you've got to handle all of it at the same time. A lot more respect for helicopter pilots now, for sure, yeah. We did a few times the hover, then we started to do like some uh, turns and finally we did some circuits. For me it was a brain scramble. Uh, every time I flew a heli before, you'd uh, press the right pedal when you're increasing the collective and this was the other way around. So in the beginning I was really like fighting my brain because I didn't know what was going on. Playing the R44 was a really good time. Being in there gives you a great understanding of what the wind effect is and how things move around. Yeah, really happy that we got the chance to do it today. That was amazing, <laughs> incredible. Got me so excited for crude racing, so excited. Um, that just cements what my passion is. Oh my God, it was so great. I cannot wait to get into the speed deck and just start racing all the other pilots. And it's absolutely going to be something brand new and exciting. <laughs>